Hello viewers, in this video we're going to talk about how your personality is based on the way you write the letter X. Yes, you heard that right. Many graphologists believe that the way you write the letter X can help identify the kind of person that you are. So, how many ways can you write the letter X? Well, experts agree that there are only 8 ways in which you can write it. Here is a chart for your reference. As you can see in the image, the colored line is the first stroke and the black line is the second one. The arrow direction is the place where you stop drawing the line. So let's get started with the first way of writing the letter. Number 1. Two reverse lines starting bottom right. Experts agree that this is an interesting way to write the letter. For starters, the person has to use reverse strokes to achieve the way of writing X. Additionally, it starts from the bottom right corner. This shows that certain past incidents you have experienced are still holding you back. It's not that you don't want to move forward, it's that something is holding you back. Moving on to the second method. Number 2. Two reverse lines starting bottom left. If you like to write your X this way, it shows that you have a strong desire to do something in life. You have goals that you have yet to achieve. You want to move forward to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Although, you may not always be able to do that. If you have something holding you back, we suggest you overcome it before trying something new. Speaking of moving on, let's talk about number three. Number three. Reverse line starting from top right. While there may have been many speculations with this one, most graphologists agree that the person may have a rebellious streak. People who like this way of writing X want to do things their way. If you write it this way, then you may have a problem with authority. Your ideas are often unique and you march to the sound of your own drum. Although the core of your belief system may not be that strong, while you perhaps will be seen as a rebel, sometimes you won't have a cause. Needless to say, you won't have too many supporters in your rebellion. In at number 4 we have Number 4. Reverse lines starting from top left. This is another interesting way to write the letter. It indicates that you may not be someone who knows how to pick a side in fights. For you, it may often be keeping the peace rather than standing your ground. You aren't someone who would shy from compromising when the need arises. You're someone who is excited about the future and like to live a peaceful life. You neither like nor do you want to be a part of any type of chaos. There is one problem. You are also tempted to walk back and reminisce about your past. While it may seem relaxing at times, Doing it too much won't allow you to focus on the present and build the future. Yes, as horrible as it sounds. Let's move to method number five. Number five, top right to bottom left and bottom left to top right. All right, first of all, congratulations because this is considered the most complicated way to write the letter X. This is because graphologists believe it's harder to get the second line correctly especially if you're writing in a hurry. So, it can be very difficult to manage this combination. Since you write in this way, it may mean you have great time management skills. This also shows that you like to live life according to your rules. You aren't much of a follower. In other words, you are someone who enjoys being a maverick. With that, let's move on to number six. Number six. Line starting from bottom left. While similar to number two, you're starting the line from bottom. But here's the difference. The second line isn't reverse. This shows that you may be someone who enjoys new life experiences. You want to enjoy your life to its fullest potential. You may not be someone who likes to live in the orthodox way. Even the odd nine to five job may not feel like your calling. This is why it's important for you to do something you really like. You may lose interest easily, but if you're dedicated enough, then you won't allow boredom to get in your way of achieving something. What's more interesting? 
Graphologists believe that people who write the letter X this way tend to be trendsetters. They like starting new things and leaving a legacy that others might like to follow. All of these methods might have you wondering if there's one method that is considered the correct one. Well, yes, there is, and that one would be Number 7. Top left to bottom right and top right to bottom left. Graphologists believe this is the most well-known method of writing the letter. In fact, it is also speculated that our teachers in school might have taught most of us this way. So, if you are someone who still writes this way, you believe in order. You can be a bit meticulous and at the same time have a knack for details. You're usually punctual, well-mannered and down to earth. While you don't have too many friends, you're very close bonded with the ones that you choose to call as friends. You're also a big fan of authority, rules, and traditional norms, as well as a firm believer in your country's law. If you don't fall into any of the previous types, you probably write X the eighth way. Number eight, top right to bottom left and top left to bottom right. If you write X this way, then you're creative and you love to think outside the box. You also know how to keep yourself stimulated and are always looking for new things to create. You have a vivid imagination that comes to life when you're alone. You may also have very strong emotions, which you find very hard to express. So, how do you write X? Let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.